good morning everybody how is everybody doing it's monday morning the start of a new week i'm gonna take a little stroll a walking video everybody likes walking videos i cruised by here guys <coughs> <coughs> a new bar has opened another new bar has opened well it's a new bar slash old bar with a new name all right there it is club camelot all right it's gone Club Camelot is gone. This is now Zeus Bar. Yeah, the door's open. I walked in, peeked in there, and uh, there are workers in there, some beautiful ladies. And they said they are not open yet, as far as time-wise this morning. And uh, yeah, that's new. Old bar with a new name, right? Anyways, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a walk, and I'm gonna talk, and I'm gonna bitch, and I'm gonna moan. Why? Because I feel like it. All right, guys, I'm over on First Street. Just gonna yes, sir. stroll around. Yes, yes sir. You got to shout out, my friend. Yeah. What's your shout out for? <laughs> no shout out. What? No shout out. No shout out. No, no shout out. out. <laughs> uh, you know, I just I like coming over here to First Street, walking around. Hope I don't get hit. It's a busy street this morning, and you gotta weave and dodge. And you actually gotta do the Superman pose. If you want to, uh, and you gotta watch up the side that nobody's coming up the side. You guys know the Superman pose. Superman pose people do to. Uh, stop traffic because you know a human a human with their hand out is stronger than a, than a car driving down the road you can pop the car with your super strength uh, what do we got here let me uh you know what let's let's shoot back here hopefully the music is not overpowering and I want to show you this little market area back here. Uh, this is like a cut through. There's a Yamaha right here. This is like a cut through. It just cuts through to another area, this back street area. But this is another little market here with a lot of knockoff products, sneakers and hats. And good morning, sir. But yeah, it's really neat in here. Lots of stuff. Where's all this come from? Manila? Manila, yeah. That's what I thought. And you got kitty cats. <laughs> you name it. I was just like cruising through here. Good morning. You know, it looks dead now, but I'm telling you, when, when the buses and the vans and everything else bring the workers from the call center and drop them off across the street, at the uh you know at the jeepney place all them people get off and there's a lot of people they filter through here and good morning they buy they will buy let me show you here get a kick out i'll show you where it comes out if you cut through here just brings you out on the back side here Music's not that bad. Morning. Here, dump you out right here. Dump you out on this back street here. There's housing all through here. Morning. There's housing all through here, all back up in there. All the people work. Uh, but yeah, this is where it brings you out. Like I said, come uh, that time when everybody gets dropped off of this very busy. Super daddies. <laughs> hey, you know what? Here is the thing. Let me show you this stuff. This stuff is on sale here. Like here, check it out. Yeah, these are knockoff. Hello. These are knockoff, right? 
but they're only 150 pesos. That's like three bucks, under three bucks. For like a nice looking hat, like a Nike hat, a Gucci hat. What else do you have here? Look at these, 100 pesos. Well, that's the bargain, 100 pesos. That's less than two dollars. Adidas, Nike, Lakers, Gucci. That's a good deal. Get all your t-shirts here. Where did all this come from, Manila? Yes, ma'am. Does this all come from Manila? This comes all from Manila. Where, what's it called, the area? The area where everybody buys. Where is that called? Basoria? Is it Basoria? Where everybody buys all the their clothes. English language barrier again. Uh, <laughs> where do you buy all this? Where do you buy all this? Oh, you don't know? You just work here. You're just a worker. All right. <laughs> but even here, 180 pesos. Uh, just a, she's just a worker. That English barrier language, right? It is what it is. Uh, but yeah, it's so cheap, this stuff. I have knockoffs. I'm not embarrassed to say I have knockoffs. Don't bother me one bit. Hello. <laughs> Smile. All right. <laughs> ah. Ah, yeah. Bitching and moaning. I'm going to start bitching and moaning. Yes, I am. Why am I bitching and moaning? Let me tell you why. Tell you why I'm a bitch and moan in this video. You guys, I am looking for a cure. And if you guys know the cure, or anybody out there knows the cure and has been dealing with this, like I've been dealing with this now for over a month. What am I talking about? I'm talking about this shingle shit. This virus I contracted. Guys, I'm still dealing with it every day. Like I said, I'm bitching and I'm moaning and hopefully somebody can give me some home remedy, right? A home remedy. Morning. I went to the uh, dermatologist this past week. You know, and I was in there and she gave me medication to put on. And I put it on, and I went back and seen her again, and she's like, ah, here, I'm gonna give you this medication, and take this medication, it's a cream, to put on your, your shingles that you have. Now, I don't have no, like, my skin is, how can you say it, it's, there's no scarring. Uh, it's uh, discolored, discolored, uh, where I've had the shingles, uh, but it, I'm telling you, it, it feels like my, my body's on fire, my side is on fire. Uh, when I ride down the road on my motorbike, I could feel the wind on my body, just, just the wind alone on my skin, because you get scar, you'll get scar, the scarring of your skin, uh, you know, the, the, the the, what do you call it? The feeling, the nerves. You get nerve damage. And that's what I have this fucking nerve damage. And it just doesn't, there's no relief. There's no relief. You wake up in the middle of the night, go to the bathroom. It's there. You wake up in the morning, it's there. It's there all day. It's there right now as I'm walking. I feel it. Is it getting better? Yeah, by like 1% or a half a percent every damn day it is uh, you just learn to deal with it you know it, it, it affects your life it affects your everyday life and if you haven't gotten the shingles virus vaccination go I'm gonna tell you right now go get it go get it because you don't want it trust me what two months later I'm still dealing with this ah 
you know, here's the screwed up part. Screwed up part. I'm gonna jump across the street here. You know, I, in 2006, all right, I quit smoking. I quit smoking cigarettes. Let me get across here. It is wide open, wide open. 2006, I quit smoking cigarettes. Smoked cigarettes for, I don't know, how many years? 20 plus years, right? That's stupid. Why well, put a, just the stupid shit you deal with here. Like, why do you gotta put that up, that, that rope? Everybody's going into the park. See, and it even puts me in a bad mood. It puts me in a bad mood. Uh, 2006, all right, quit smoking cigarettes. After smoking for years and years and years. Two, three months after I uh, quit smoking cigarettes, yeah, I noticed I was very thirsty all the time. Very, very thirsty. And always going to the bathroom. Went to the doctor, doctor ran blood work. Hey, guess what? You are a type two diabetic. Your sugar levels are high. That's why you're urinating, this and that. I quit smoking and that's what happened. I, what did I do? Get of the year. Quit vaping. A month or two after I quit vaping, boom! I get this shingles virus. It's like every time I stop a miles, something to better my health, something ruins my health, right? <laughs> Uh, good morning, sir. Ruins my health. It's like I'm to the point, you know what? Let me, let me go back to vaping. Let me take this edge of this feeling off. Like I said, I'm bitching and I'm moaning because I have every right to. But if anybody has any home remedies, all right, I'm taking. Lyrica also, or Hello, generic, sir. good morning, a generic form of a Lyric. Lyrica, I think that's it. And it's, uh, I can I put it this way, I can feel when it starts wearing off and I got to take more. Uh, but if you've, if you've had the shingles virus, or if you're dealing with, with it right now because this can last for years guys this is some people the effects of this can last for years if you know and if you've dealt with this I'm not talking that you know I don't want the advice from somebody that let me look up on uh, you know, let me look Google it and let me give you a remedy for it off of Google because trust me I've looked on Google and looked for the remedy morning, sir. morning. If you've dealt with it and you've found a certain way to relieve the pain from it and you know the pain I'm talking about leave a comment down below I am more than welcome to uh, try anything but it's every day it affects your mood it affects how you think why do you think I haven't been putting out too many videos it's just I, I don't feel like it my body just doesn't feel like doing anything it's you gotta force yourself to do this stuff. You know, it's not like I'm back in the States and I'm working and now I gotta force, I got to force myself to get up and go to work. You're retired, I'm retired here. If I don't wanna get up, I don't wanna get up. If I wanna lay in bed all day, I'll lay in bed all day. Uh, but I'm not laying in bed, I am getting up. I'm trying to get out and do things. Uh, but that is my bitch, my rant, my moaning. And we've come back to where we started our little stroll. It's empty. It's empty now. That rush, that morning rush is over. Uh, once again, it's Holy Week here. And uh, come, come Friday. I think it's Friday, starting Friday, Saturday. It's a nice looking Jimmy, huh? Come Friday, Saturday. Everything will shut down. Even the mall shuts down. The only thing that does not shut down in this area for Holy Week, for Good Friday, I think of what is a Good Friday or Black Friday or whatever, whatever Friday it is, the Easter Friday. The only thing that doesn't shut down, Shit Street, yep, Shit Street, Walking Street, 
does it shut down? Runs. It'll run. Sing Street. Well, it's the Devil Street, right? The Devil Street will still be open for Holy Week. 